Sometimes a client might want you to add highlights to the hair in a portrait photo. So here's how to do that. Go ahead and open up princess.jpg and we're going to duplicate this background layer. So press control J on the PC or command J on the Mac. And let's change the layer blending mode of this top layer to screen, which will lighten it a bit. We want to mask out this whole area though. So hold down Alt on the PC or Option on the Mac, and then click the Add Layer Mask icon. So this top layer, we don't see any of it. Now we want part of it to show through wherever we want the highlights. So choose the brush tool and choose a nice soft edge brush. Hardness set to 0%. Press left and right bracket. And we're just going to click and drag, add some highlights to that. All right, so there's before and then after. Now you might be thinking, well, you know, what about changing the size? You know, do I have to go left, then right, so it maybe changes a little bit? Well, what you can do is go to Window and then Brush, and then uh, Shape Dynamics, change the size jitter all the way to 100%, so it will change size as you paint to an extent. Oops, didn't want to do that. Well, right there, you know, we don't want um, paint the white in, so just flip it so the black is the foreground. I'll just paint that and we can fix it. You can also mask out some areas if you think it should be kind of a skinnier highlights or whatever. Again, a shortcut's X. It'll flip the foreground and background. So black is a foreground color. It'll mask out areas, the highlights. Hit X again. Now it'll bring back in highlights. All right. So that's a shortcut X to add a little bit. All right. So there's before and then there's after. So that's if you just want some highlights and, and hair to add a little bit of interest um, in a portrait.